to hear these memories. Uh, I do remember all everything that Johnny described. Uh, quite extraordinary. Anyway, uh, I thought I would read a poem of Leland's um, called Sally Ann, which I think to some extent uh, sums up her approach to life. And uh, the, but the other thing I, I'd like to say, since people have mentioned Matt Dara, is his poem to Leland, which uh, was published, I think, in Force 10. Uh, anyway, it ends, just keep on buying those pianos. <laughs> and, uh, it um, reflects, again, something about her life, that even in uh, this very crammed little house, there was, strangely enough, there was a piano in the hall because there was nowhere else you could put it. And uh, so much comes out of, of and so much goes of, of her fascination with, with other art and art, everything is expressed in that. Sally Ann. Sally Ann, Sally Ann, thin as a toothpick, Sally Ann. Teased she was and ran from a will of the wisp and married a man with a book of checks. Sally Ann, Sally Ann, looked back once. That was her downfall. She was so far away from her feet, like Alice in Wonderland. Then they buried Sally Ann in a coffin as black as a bugler hat. But long before the lid was dust, she'd wormed her way out. <laughs> Sally Ann, Sally Ann, has no plan now. She wings on a jigsaw. She lies flat on a mat on the floor of an unmade bargain. Sally Ann is a lazy broad. She says she's trying to find the other piece of sky that was lost like a trick, but that's a lie. What will they do with Sally Ann? Some people think she's thick. Others say she's a thief and a cheat, but she's on nobody's conscience, which is a relief. <laughs> <laughs> to all the speakers today. It's been such such a precious day for everybody here and the listening in the room itself. You can't, you can't explain. We're here, we're experiencing. This is what art is live. Looking at painting is live. So come in and enjoy this exhibition on your own time and experience around the pieces in the back room. But um, this is so special, this exhibition. I'm getting emotional now talking about it. Those of you that were in London for the opening and the closing <coughs> and today, this is something that is giving. And I can't, I can't, uh, and you, all of you that are here experiencing this. But I, I just, because I'm a Maharal woman myself, right. I, I promised, and, and I'm a rubbish student at school of literature, mm -hmm. and a lazy reader of books, um, and <coughs> like a lot of people. But this, because it's a Maharal poem, I really proudly ought to read this. And I think it suits the day when we all consider staying in our duvet. <laughs> <laughs> Maharal Moments by Leland Barlow. He repeated the word duvet as though it were a charm. Mm -hmm. Duvet, he said, <laughs> curling his socks around her feet. <laughs> <laughs>